Uh, we ask for voluntary cooperation, not just with washing your hands and personal hygiene, but with social distancing and staying home and staying away and staying out of group gatherings. But a simple request, which was the way to start, in my opinion, did not carry the weight that an order does. So we're moving to the next step, and we hope and pray uh, that this emergency order will have its intended effect uh, to slow the spread of this virus and save lives. That order that Macon Bid Mayor Robert Ricker was talking about went into place at 515 today. It closes down some Macon Bid businesses for the next week. Restaurants can still serve, but only through delivery, pickup, drive through or curbside service. County is under a state of emergency, as you heard the mayor say. Ashlyn Webb talked to businesses who are affected by that order. Stylists at Easy Hair were taking their last few clients Monday afternoon. All establishments providing body care services which require physical contact between the provider and client, including without limitation, barbering, hair design, cosmetology. I wish that he had done, had done this so that we could have better prepared. Jimmy Wesley Barnett and others worked to reschedule appointments and grab whatever equipment they would need for the next two weeks. Barnett says it's going to take a toll on business, but... Hairdressers are a resourceful and creative bunch, so we will, we will do what needs to be done. There's a lot of com camaraderie in our community. Other businesses affected? Restaurants. Restaurants across the county posting signs saying they've moved to pick up or delivery only. At Your Pie on Poplar, the dine-in section was open on Sunday, but with reduced seating. All the church services not, uh, obviously not going on. Uh, the, the business just was literally probably 15% of what it typically is on a Sunday. So. On Monday, they closed the dining area. Weather the storm, if you will, but by the same token, do the right thing. But businesses not affected by the mayor's order, retail. I'm just waiting to see. Yeah. And if he says close, I'll be, I'll be closing. For now, Judy Smith says rumor a boutique on Forsyth Road will stay open. However, COVID-19 has still hurt business. Very slow. Almost non-existent. Maybe five sales a day. Now more than ever, business owners are asking people to support local businesses that are trying to keep their doors open. You know, if you're, if you're comfortable doing it, call in and, and pick up an order or have it delivered. I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing that people can do. With the community support, these business owners say they will persevere through. In Macon, Ashlyn Webb, 13 WMAZ News. Mayor says if businesses do not abide by the order, they will receive a $1,000 fine for each violation. We're taking a closer look at that order, the emergency declaration, covering several important points. As you heard, dine in restaurants closing along with bars and taverns, but restaurants can still offer takeout, delivery, drive through, or curbside service, and many are. Places that serve beer or wine can sell sealed bottles to go. The mayor closed down, as you heard, what he called body care services that require physical contact with clients, such as salons and spas. Indoor rec sites in the county closed canceling all special event permits. The mayor did not put a curfew in place for making bib and he said other retail, commercial and industrial businesses can stay open as long as they practice safe social distancing.